Right, so we have already looked at business intelligent marketing and just now we have already gone through the market segment and position. So the last part, a subtopic for aerospace marketing management is marketing and sales action plan. Right, so uh, right from the very beginnings of marketing, yeah, planning has been identified as an important component. So, taken to an extreme, it has made a nonsense of marketing. So, the marketing plan must be pragmatic tool directly based on action plan. So, basically, you once you have uh, uh, provide your uh, planning you then need to uh, do the uh, sales action plan what is the action uh, to make the uh, sales eh, basically so the object of a marketing plan is to put into writing eh, the marketing policy chosen by the firm in order to ensure that the company's marketing actions are coherent and that's why we have a marketing plan so they must be correspond to the sales and resource potential of the company and to the business environment. So the marketing plan, different definitions are all interlinked. It is essence, uh, it is a document including an analysis. So a marketing plan should have an analysis. It also has a strategy and objective and the means or the action plan right so example of setting up a market marketing plan so basically you have a consultation phase and it's just an example right um, um, where you, then we have a, a first project eh? we have the first project in october just uh, and then uh, definitive plan in uh, December, application of plan from January. So the product manager plan, uh, plan master, eh, where you have the R&D, production, finances, uh, personnel, uh, sales, advertising, market service are, are being conducted. These are all interlinked eh, from, from, and it is a continuous process. Eh, setting up a market marketing plan you can let's say as i said you you can start in uh, any month from january to to december but um everything is being being uh, uh it's like a, like a, a process eh? a process where you improve eh? uh improve uh, uh the first project you have a definitive plan you application of the plan consultation phase and then you uh, determine whether it's going to be continued or not all right so um, when we look at the uh, first element of a marketing plan eh, unlike the other steps there are two possible plans for the analysis eh? some people prefer an initial external analysis of the environment followed by an internal one of the company so other prefer an analysis analysis by team okay, so the choice depend on the size of the company and the number of product offered so type of analysis plan you can have internal analysis as well as external analysis or you can conduct it um, simultaneously or you can also have a thematic analysis for the marketing plan so example of a table summarizing external diagnosis for Air France, eh, the uh, KLM Air France. Okay, uh, looking at the features here, global environment eh, in terms of legal, technological, sociolo sociological, eh, where you can uh, highlight the opportunities, eh, open skies agreement. Uh, threat like oil prices, volcano ashes, economic crisis. Eh? So, global environment factors. Influences, eh? perpetual needs to use aircraft for long haul. The threat like uh, European Commission on Carbon Monoxide, Carbon Dioxide Permits, eh? suppliers, new efficient aircraft, eh? having less 
uh, production of uh, emission like CO2, noise reduction, fuel consumption, threat like backlog and delivery time from both Boeing and Airbus, distributors, competitors, and so on. So basically, these are external diagnoses for Air France uh, KLM. And this is just an example. And the other one is uh, another table summarizing internal diagnoses for the same airline. Okay, they can look at the elements of products, customers, geographical areas, distribution channels, sales force, communication, branding, advertising, sale promotion, as well as the pricing strategy. And you can look here for internal diagnos diagnosis. You look at the strength as well as the weaknesses. Okay, we do not have to go through uh, each one of it. Um, the second type of analysis, as I highlighted uh, just now, is by team. Okay? What do we mean by team? Okay? We, we can have analysis of the company within its market. And this is the first team yeah? where you look at the macro environment. This includes analysis of legal, monetary, sociological, technological changes. And then the descriptive analysis of the market, whether the size of the market is studied in terms of volume and value as well as the evolution competitors position you know, how other airlines compared to uh, the your your uh, your airline eh? so the the company airline and then the competitors companies are listed with their market share by volume and value and it is thus possible to set out the density or scattering of the market right so for example like Sometimes airlines decided to uh, have a special route, a special route or route to certain countries, a certain region, right? And some of it, for example, like Malaysia Airlines used to fly all over the world, but then uh, decided to shrink its uh, um, um, routes, uh, especially to Europe. They, they just re retain uh, the... Uh, London route eh? so the, the rest of the route um, is now uh, going to be initiated back right but we used to fly all over the world and then the second part of the analysis by team is analysis of the mixed variables relative to the competition eh? we look at the product here there is an analysis of the sales structure per product okay the range as well as the prices offered all in relation to the competing brands okay and then distribution channels and management of the sales force analysis of distributed distribution channels main distributors analysis of sales and means of communication okay so let us look at the objective of marketing plan so in marketing the global objective is usually the market share so you want to make sure that your marketing plan will include the market share basically how much um, uh, market share that you would like to go into is it uh, only 10 percent of the market share or 50 percent of the market share and or what are the target okay so there are three objectives there the first one is hypothetical evolution of the market okay we are not going to go through in much detail about uh, the objective we are uh, i'm just taking the general uh, overview of the of the uh, objective eh? a hypothetical market evolution must be established because without this the market share objective has no real meaning and the second part is uh, market share in volume and growth objective establishing the market share is a policy decision eh, which cannot be set by any simulation so it has to be based on the uh, report, market report. So it has to be related to the market share and the company need to do policy decision, right? And deciding about tariff, it is here also that the company makes the decision as to whether to keep last year tariff or to modify it. So whether you want to increase the goals in terms of the tariff or you want to retain the the previous year's tariff all right 
summary to show calculation of global objective this is an example i don't expect uh, in our course uh, to go through the uh, calculation of the uh, global objective uh, this is just, just an example so showing the years in terms of percentage of market share so let's say you have uh, uh, y of um, uh, amount of 18 y plus 1 is 20 percentage change is uh, plus 11 eh? like, and then you have a market of 100 and 110 uh, percentage change is plus 10 sales volume pricing sales value so you can have a calculation in terms of to um, predict what is the marketing plan all about in terms of the percentage of market share in terms of market sales volume pricing as well as the sales value okay so um, this uh, chart eh, showing global and intermediary objective plus action plan where you set the global objective in terms of the market share the sales the contribution and you have intermediary objective eh? value diffusion brand recall and penetration rate so you have uh, each one of it associated to uh, the respective action eh? for example action number one development on internet sales size action number two competition special event travel agencies action number three you advertise in tv or magazine action four special offer student discovery uh, special and so on so so each one of the marketing plan related to the global objective and intermediary objective has it owns action uh, plans eh? so so these are examples so the means and action plan eh? uh, presentation of the action plan so for each of the action it is recommended to follow this five point plan uh, as highlighted below okay the first one is objective this is the specific objective set for the particular action eh? example raising the distribution or presence level of the product mechanism the action must be described in precise detail as to how it will be carried out and eh, the length of the operation is it uh, for two months or is it only for two weeks or only two days eh? the amount of bonus that you want to provide if uh, the marketing plan is successful eh? justification this is explaining concisely why the recommendation for this action are relevant to achieving the objective fix so the motivation behind it justification and then budget all action must be quantified as accurately as possible so marketing plan marketing action is not free of charge so you have to put a budget on it and cover several hypotheses when it is impossible to predict actual figures right and then uh, of course the planning the starting and finishing dates you have to have a definite timeline the dates of the operations are suggested and if necessary the reasoning behind the relative position of the two consecutive consecutive actions right so this is just an example of a uh, timetable eh? action one from february to march sale force challenge action two in april you do advertising and and so on okay uh, if we look here a more uh, uh, graphical means and action plan a eh? presentation of the marketing plan a diagram to show external or internal analysis eh? so uh, for, where you have the first quadrant here eh, the left hand side top uh, quadrant showing the analysis you do market environment the company diagnosis of favorable time eh, plan for elaboration and eh, one two and three and then when you go to strategies and objective you strategize for customer customer type product pricing distribution <coughs> you set up or objective for long term and short term and provide specific objectives okay and then means or action plan eh? manpower and structure how many people are you going to 
uh, put in term of uh, conducting the marketing plan eh? actions program eh? for new and outgoing uh, going products budgeting operating reports and finally the the actions eh? whether uh, plan being implemented uh, deployment uh, control internal and external and finally corrective action so and then this uh, also be used to conduct uh, a new analysis new strategies and objective means of action plan and another round of action okay Presentation of the marketing plan diagram to show analysis by team. Uh, so the same um, uh, mode of uh, presentation from the previous slide just now. Uh, from macro environment, market analysis, competitive position. And then you go into analysis of the variables in the mix to look at the product, distribution, channel and sales force, means of communication and strategies, uh, objective and finally the means by having manpower, uh, structures, program action, and and having suitable budget, right? And then uh, we look into sales action plan, where the sales action plan normally uh, denoted by SAP is the breaking up of the marketing plan into short periods and its translation in operational terms. So the marketing marketing plan is usually yearly, eh, which means that it cannot be used directly by the sales force so in addition it concerns all the company's product for example you have uh, not just one product you have all the products available if it was given directly to the sales force each salesperson would select his own priority so so different salesperson different uh, having different product to be sell to different dedicated customers right uh, in terms of the objective of the sales action plan, we have five objectives there. And the first one is establishing the product priorities for the period, which is mean that it is necessary in order to help the sales manager to select the product to be highlighted. And then the second objective of sales action plan is to establish the customer priorities for the period. Here, the aim is to ensure coherence between sales operation within the zone chosen and then the third objective is to transmit the essential information to the sales force yeah. what is does that mean is that for the in-house marketing department yeah, this means sending information about launch of new product with the codes tariff advertising plan for the period or promotional plan and then the fourth objective for sales action plan is harmonizing sales management method yeah, if it is if this is not done, each salesperson will only retain the argument in the order which correspond to the to his own concern. Eh? And then finally, the fifth objective for sales action plan is to better preserving the confidentiality of the plan. So by breaking down a marketing plan into monthly period, for example, the risk of transmission to competitors is reduced because why we say this is that uh, salesperson also human being and they may be loyal to you today maybe they are then they resign tomorrow to work with the competitors eh? so so basically you can uh, avoid of leaking of information your marketing plan the sales action plan uh, uh, by breaking it down into monthly period rather than just a whole year of marketing plan all right so this is a, a, an example of a sales plan uh, objective like key customer one customer two customer three customer four each customer they can uh, provide different set of product maybe product one is suitable for customer number one only product two and three is suitable for customer number two and three and product four is suitable for key customer number number four. All right. So this is just uh, example of table being used. <clears throat> and finally, the contents of sales action plan, the marketing plans or sales action plan or the marketing plan cycle. Right. So um, is being shown in this particular 
a particular simple chart eh? for from the company directors you have a short term sales action plan where where you expose it to the market and and conducting survey conducting segmentation marketing meets uh, and then having a medium and long term marketing plan right so the diagram shows the cyclical nature of sales action right so market surveys should be analyzed sales result you want to make sure that you want to know uh, how much um, marketing has been conducted how much penetration to the market that has been uh, uh, conducted whether is it effective enough in terms of all the strategies that already being planned and implemented um, to shoot to analyze sales result in order to prepare a more efficient marketing plan for the following year so all of these items that we have already discussed in this particular topic um, can also be used in other industry and not just necessarily for aerospace uh, the examples being used in this uh, course just to show how uh, marketing air, marketing management is uh, as an important element of uh, aerospace industry so by that we would like to end our session today 